Hello everyone, it's Erica with Craftinated, and today I'm going to go through some happy mail I've gotten over <laughs> the past month. So, um, mid-November I had COVID, I uh, quarantined for two weeks. And I just started getting back to normal life about a week or so ago. So um, I know that my I haven't been posting many videos and I haven't been doing much um, on Instagram. Um, my December monthly was not posted. When I do my 2021 bullet journal setup, I will put um, the video in that I have on TikTok just so you can see the flip through. I um, just have had a difficult time kind of managing uh, doing my extracurriculars on top of work and home and everything else with trying to get better. So um, I do feel fine now. I was lucky I had a mild case. Um, but let me get into, I already, so I had done a video <laughs> and this is before I got sick and it was on my November inky box. And unfortunately, I uh, I don't even know what went on with that video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you what I got in my November inky box. Um, it's it's really really cute. I love this tiny Primo uh, watercolor paper pad. It's just like this mini tiny watercolor pad. And I think it's adorable. And then it has this Com uh, Grumbacher Academy watercolors, and these are just such pretty jewel tone. Um, colors there's a viridian and a violet and then this art philosophy uh, ter terrain watercolors and it's like this green and almost like rust orange and then I also got oh, I missed it over here I got two um, of this uh, Derwent ink tents uh, water soluble coloring pencils and this one is called baked earth and this one is called Green Apple. Uh, and then also received this Princeton uh, Snap Round Watercolor Brush. So I didn't even use this stuff when I got it in November. Um, and then this is a card. It says Forever Grateful. Um, and that one is by Lonnie Maid. And then this one says Thankful for You. And I love the colors on this one. It's so pretty. Um, and this one was by Veronica Letters. Uh, so this was the November Inky Box. I love getting these. I do think, so I have my uh, December one that I'm going to open up in a second. I do think I'm going to stop getting them though, only because I have so many pens. I have, <laughs> it is crazy how many pens I have. I have, um, almost all of the Archer and all of the Acrylograph pens, except for the warm, uh, fall, I think it's called, which I want to get. I will be getting them because I love those. And then I got that entire huge pack of Tombos. I have the Emot Fine Liners. I have, I think, every Moonlight Jelly Roll that was ever made. I have, it's just crazy how many pets I have. I have, you know, besides the dual brush Tombos, I have um, the other Tombow, and I have all the colors in those. I have the Arte Ar Arteza um, watercolor pens. I mean, it's, it's insane how many pens I, I have more pens than any one person should be allowed to have. So, uh, I do think I'm going to stop the inky box this after this December one, which I'll open now. This one is unopened. I haven't seen what's inside of this one yet. And I have my paper here just in case it's going to be something that I can, um, write with last time it was, you know, the watercolors, which I didn't even try out on camera. So this one has some uh, some pretty things in here. There's some Posca pens, and I have a lot of Posca pens too. <laughs> so it's just like I while I enjoy getting these, and sometimes they're colors and pens that I haven't tried. Sometimes they're repeats, and um, these ones I've never seen before. Those are pretty. Um, so I, I think that this will be my last one, um, just for now. I'll probably go back to them again. Because they are so, you get so many awesome things in them. They're such a good value. I, I would recommend them to anybody, especially if you're starting out your um, hand lettering or bullet journal 
journey and you're trying to find fine tune what you want to buy um, this gives you a little bit of everything so that you can kind of make a good decision on um, what pens you want to buy see like these this time of course after I said that this time is a bunch of pens that I don't have so um, but that's fine so let's see what's in here We'll start with the cards. I do love getting these cards, even though I make cards. Um, I like getting these. They're more like simple, like flat cards. These are great to mail or, um, you know, I had a, a girl at work. I just, I, there was something that happened and I just felt like I should give her a card. And I had these um, at work and I just gave her one and it, it really made a big difference. So having cards on hand, I feel like is just awesome even though I make a million of them but these are nice too um it says sending joy this holiday season and this one is by um Alexa Designs Company and it's uh at Alexa Illustrates on Instagram and then this one says slay dear slay I like that that's funny and this one is by Incus Dingus. Incus Dingus. Incus Dingus. Okay. So, um, it looks like there's these acrylic ornaments in here. And there's three. No, two. Sorry. Three inch. There's two three inch ornaments. Um, and I guess that you use your pens to make them. It says remove blue film. Okay, so it's probably just clear once you remove the film. I'll do that at another time though. Um, and then I don't know how to pronounce this because I, I, I'm terrible at pronouncing things, but these Tombow pens are awesome. I use them for my bullet journaling. I use them for hand lettering. Um, they're, they're, they're perfect for beginners too, I think, because they have a harder tip. So like the bigger and, and, and softer the tip is, the harder it is to get the desired look. So, um, unless you have practiced and you're good at it, which I am not one of those people, um, the, these, um, harder tip ones are, are much easier to use. So let me pull these out. So I'll just write high like I always do. So it's not as thick as like a typical brush pen would be like you're not getting that huge upstroke um, or rather downstroke where it's like very dramatic, but they're just easy to control. This one is a um, thicker tip. So they're just easier to control. So this one is the WS. BS black and this is the WSBH black. So those are the two different um, ones in that pack and I love these pens so this is something I would use but like I said I have many of them. So I'm not really sure what these zig clean colors are. I've never used these before so we'll see. It looks like so this is more of like a paintbrush tip. Those th That's that thicker kind of uh, tip I was talking about. And it is, like I said, more dramatic, but harder to control. And that looks terrible. So that's the blue. Uh, let's see, what's it? does it have another name? Cobalt blue. And this one's lemon yellow. Sorry, I'm still a little congested. <laughs> I'm trying though. Um, so this is the lemon yellow. And it is a little difficult to see on the white, but I'm sure it would be fun to use like as like a background to another color or something like that and this one is the Pentel brush tip and I believe that she's given us these in the past let me look I may not have them out I don't um I think I have a blue and a pink one that I got in the um inky box in the past and it's a really fun pen it's it's again one of the harder more um, controllable tips. Which are better for people like me who are beginners and don't really 
um, warm up like they're supposed to. <laughs> and these are Edding brush pens. See, these ones I don't have either. So this is like, now I'm rethinking my decision to not get the inky box because in this, in this box, I have gotten um, these ones that I didn't have, these ones that I didn't have, and I do have some Posca pens, but I do not have these colors. I might have the black. I'll open it up in a minute. Actually, I don't think I do because this is a fine tip. And the Poscas are great on black, and I brought my black paper, so I'll show you those ones on the black. So let's see what this one's about. Uh, this, does it say a color? It says 004. So it's Edding Brush Pens. And I don't know what the color is, but it looks like a green from the outside. So um, that I like the way that writes that also has like, it's a, it's, it's a bigger brush pen, but it's hard. So it's not like the, it's hard to explain. So some of them are almost like, if I can do this, I'll show you. Some of them are almost like a paintbrush when you use it, um, which is, which is fun. But those are the ones that I feel like are harder to control. And then you have ones like this that are just like a pen tip. So that's the difference and I feel like those ones are easier to control. So this one says it is color 007, it looks like a brown or a sepia or something along those lines. And that one I like too. So those are really pretty um, pens. So let me open up the Posca pen. So these ones you, um, I believe these are the ones you shake. Yeah, you have to shake to activate them. I'm pretty excited to have this gold one. This is fun. And now I want to keep getting inky boxes. So maybe I won't stop. I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll do the uh, minis. They have a, so she has a mini box that you can get. And, um, it's cheaper. It doesn't come with as many um, pieces, which means I probably won't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. All right, that's almost activated. So I love the Posca pens. I have some of them. And it looks great on black and that's perfect because I am doing a blackout journal this year um, so it's really pretty like high metallic Posca pens are great I have like the basic set of Posca pens and I just recently realized that there's like a million other like tip sizes and colors and I want more of them so this is just helping me reach that goal um, I have like the red, green, blue, yellow, black, white, and red, I think. But since they are paint, um, paint markers, you have to, you know, shake to activate them, push down on the tip until the ink flows, and then you're good to go. And you get this beautiful um, metallic look for them, the gold one. That's gorgeous. I love that. And those are the black. So the black will show up on black. It's probably going to be hard to see on camera. But since it's a paint marker, you can still see it. Uh, it's good for, uh, for, for blackout journals to cover up mistakes. Um, and like typically, you know, if you're in a regular journal and you're using a pen and you make a mistake, you can use white out or a white pen or a white paint pen. It's the same um, concept. 
So I love that. I love the fine tip. I might have to get more colors of the fine tip for my blackout because Posca pens are just so much fun to use. Um, so that's everything that was in the inky box. And then I have these um, beautiful little ornaments that I guess you removed the blue film. And I would like to see what it looks like. How do you remove the blue film? It says they're acrylic ornaments, so I'm guessing they're just plain acrylic once you uh, get the film off. Okay, so you remove the blue film, that's one side, and then it looks like you would remove it on the other, one second. All right, so I have removed the blue film, and that is your acrylic um, ornament, and then you can... I would probably likely use the Posca pen, like the gold, and write something on there like Merry Christmas, something like that. I haven't, um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but those are a lot of fun. And I love how she gives projects like this sometimes, where it's not like a huge project, it's probably like a five, 10 minute project, but like she's given things in the past, like little tiny um, canvases with paint. And it's just fun because it's it's like a mini tiny project for you to do. And I um, believe it's around $39 with shipping for these, which is why I'm not sure if, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should keep getting the inky box. I love it, I do love getting it. It's just a lot of repeats and except for this time, when it comes and it's a bunch of stuff I don't have already. So here we are, who knows? So uh, moving on though from the inky box, I also have, this is the Peachy Cheap Black Friday mystery bag. So I'm gonna open this one up and then I have one more thing to open up and it is the Archer and Olive mystery box. I know that Everybody and their mothers already posted theirs, but I'm still excited to see what's in mine, even though I already know what's in it. So let's see what we got here though from Peachy Cheap. So we have Echo Park Ephemera. I love winter. These are really pretty. I have the paper pack for this, I'm pretty sure. It's this really pretty blue and red, um, kind of fun pop of color. I used it to make some journals for the craft show I didn't get to do because I had COVID, um, but it's really pretty. Uh, I love the way it looks and I still have the journals. They're not gone. I still have them for next year. Um, then we have this Autumn Splendor by Simple Stories. That is really pretty. It looks like it's mostly like leaves, floral, and um, some pumpkins, uh, some acorns down here. So that's fun um, for like some accents for whatever you're doing. A lot of ephemera in here. This is Little Princess by Simple Stories. And I believe I have this paper kit too. I'm pretty sure I do. I think I got it from um, Tuesday morning as a kit with some ephemera, but you can never have enough ephemera, I think. Because even if you don't use it with that paper pad, there's a paper pad out there that these flowers would look perfect on. And then I have some of these uh, paper bow clips. And I actually... <laughs> So funny, so happy together. I think I have these two um, from last year's uh, mystery box or a mystery box, but they're really cute. They're good for, um, I think they'd look really cute and I haven't done them yet in my um, mini albums. Like, so when you're going through and you could put them on some pages, like if you're using a kit that this would match, I think that would look really cute. All right, so these are some cork it's a cork pack. It's called Good Old Days by Fancy Pants Design. And I think I think there might be stickers. But that's really fun. It's like the, the look of it is very vintagey or even like school aged. You could use it either way. Very cute. So these are some Prima wood embellishments. I love the Prima brand in general. Uh, it looks like a cloud. This one says be free. Flower. A different flower. A heart. And... Let's say it says believe, but it's turned around. Um, so those are cute. There's 24 pieces in there. And this is Studio 11. Some gems. Also, there's three 
in here. Let's see, they're different colors. No, they're not. So they're like almost like this black onyx kind of color. Uh, it says they're adhesive gems. It does not, I don't see a color on here. But they're they're pretty dark. Uh, those are those are fun. Those would be good on cards, um, as embellishments. Uh, this one is Bow Bunny. Um, some more embellishments, uh, hearts. Those are cute. Those would be great for like Valentine's Day or something like that. And some more of these Studio Eleven pieces. I wonder if these are all the same too. You know, last time there was a lot more paper in here. Not that I'm upset because I have a ton of paper, but last time I got one of these um, Black Journal or Black Journal, uh, Black Friday uh, mystery boxes from Peachy Cheap, it was a lot of paper. Not to um, discredit the value of this box, but um, so these are adhesive gems. Um, there's a like a semicircle. It almost it's like scalloped and then a heart flower I'm not really sure what shape you would call that kind of like oh is it uh I can't remember I think it starts with an e and then um just like a gem shape so those are pretty those are blue like a royal blue um then these are so happy together enamel dots I love enamel dots I will I use enamel dots sometimes I go a little bit they get a little carried away when I use them, but I love them. This is, I think it's etc. is what it says. It says label stickers, fancy pants designs. So it says best choice, genuine product, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If found, please return to owner. Hello, my name is. So those are fun. I love this, this is my mind's eye and I love this kit this kingdom gardens I didn't get the kit I saw it on their page when they had all these kits on sale and this one um, of course was sold out but it's so pretty and floral and like kind of like those muted uh, tones and it's just so pretty um, so this is me time this week next week little things must do so this is good for um, journaling too or planning it does say planner stickers on there. I guess I didn't see that part, but so these are planner stickers and then, um, some stamps from echo park. And I am going to have to check my stash because I am pretty sure I already have these. So, um, what happens when I get stuff like this, that in a mystery box, like stamps that I already have, I usually end up gifting them or, um, if I ever do like a, maybe next time I do a giveaway, it might be in included in the giveaway. Because to me, so like, I can have extra enamel dots. Like, that's fine because those are consumable type of um, crafting items. But when it's something like a stamp, when you're gonna use it, the same stamp over and over and over again and you don't need to have more than one, I usually just do something to, um, I, I don't usually sell them, I just gift them. Um, so I'm going to check my stash and if I have this, this might be in a giveaway coming soon. We'll see. Uh, then I have this bow bunny. Uh, it says noteworthy, some ephemera, and it's all very, um, Valentine's day -y, like with like this, like kind of doily love. Uh, this is, ha oh, it says happy Valentine's day. Uh, this says lovebirds. So this is a Valentine's day pack from bow bunny. And those are really pretty. I am not with it today. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm like, oh, it says it right here. <laughs> I'm working on it. So this is Amy Tangerine Journal Studio stickers. I love just about everything Amy Tangerine puts out ever. She's very bright, very fun. I mean, these are going to be perfect in my bullet journal. Like these rainbows. Um, because... My bullet journal this year is a blackout journal. It's a it's the Pride blackout journal from Archer and Olive. So that's for the first six months. So I'll be doing that from January to uh, June. I'm doing the blackout um, Pride journal, and then from July to December, I'll be doing the white page one, um, which will be fun. But these are so cute. I just love her stuff. The strawberries. 
just bright, fun. Um, and she she posts on Instagram, and I I just love watching her stories and stuff because she's just like so down to earth. And um, I love Amy Tangerine. I'll stop talking about her. Um, so this is from Studio G. Uh, this is a journal. Um, just looks like it's lined white paper. It says big ideas on the front. Here's the paper. There's paper. A tiny six by six pad. It's really cute though. Here, let me get this um, adhesive off the sides. So how pretty is that? That is gorgeous. I love those bold floral colors against that like muted green background. It's very pretty. What's this called? I should, guess I shouldn't have known. This is, so it's Heidi Schwab um, Honey and Spice. So very pretty. I love the tags. Those are really cute. So very muted, um, very like natural colors. I love it. So that's really pretty. What are these guys? I don't even know what this is. It doesn't even have like, there's nothing on it. It's so nondescript. It looks like they're like little, let me open it up. Like you could use them on cards, I'm sure it looks like you could just use adhesive and put them down but I don't even know what these these bad boys are oh there's like a thingy okay so this right here turns around and then you can pop them out I have no idea what this is it's a little flower you probably cannot see that for anything but it's a little they're all little flowers they're really cute we'll see what we do with those I've never had such a thing before. And then um, some washi and another washi. So that's everything that was in the uh, Peachy Cheat Mystery Box. I'm trying to remember how much it was. I think it was like a $50 value and I think it was like $18.99 plus shipping or $19.99 plus shipping. I will put all of the description of like um, how much the inky box is, how much the um, mystery box was. And then the last thing I have is my Archer and Olive um, subscription box. I am so excited to have this. It's crazy how excited I am. Um, so let me open it up. I know what's in it already. <laughs> I've seen people post what they got and I know what's in it, but it doesn't take away from the excitement. Oh my goodness. So pretty. I love everything Archer and Olive. So this is, um, the pencil pouch. And so what this does is this fits on the back of an A5 journal. Keep that. Um, to put your pencils in and then there's a secondary pocket you could put like um any washi in there stickers uh eraser pencil whatever so let me get my journal real quick so this is the journal i'm going to be moving to for 2021 and this is from archer and olive i have shared the inside front page i love it um this is mostly done with the moonlight jelly rolls um, so I'm in, I'm in the process of making my, uh, plan with me for that, but this bad boy can fit right on the back here. So so you can put it on like that. Your journal still functions otherwise normally, but then you have this slide off pouch to put your pens and erasers, stickers, washi, whatever your heart desires right in there. So here is, this is the, um, oh, what size is this? This is the B, I get them confused all the time. There's the B5 and the B6. And I think this is the B6. 
And I think the reason why I get confused is because the B5 is bigger than the B6. And um, that doesn't make sense in my brain. But I'm pretty sure this is the B6 size. And I know there's a reason why they're sized the way they are with the letters and the numbers, but I forget. So I believe this, yes, this one is a blackout. And it's so cute and little. I love it. I love it. So this is the, um, does it say on here? No, of course. Why would it say what size it is on here? That would just be helpful to me. <laughs> so very cute, small, um, B5 or 6. <laughs> I think it's a B6. Um, notebook. I love it. I will, I, what I was thinking about doing, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Because I have been writing more in my bullet journal, my current one, um, than I had in the past. And I was talking to my husband, I was like, maybe I should move to having um, a journal and a bullet journal. So like my bullet journal be my planner and a journal for me to write um, things down in. The only problem with that is, is I literally have like one page that I usually use as like a journal brain dump. And I usually only fill up that one page an entire month. So I feel like it would be like two pages a month in this. And I'd have this until the end of time as a journal, but <laughs> I love the colors that they used for the boxes. It really ties into everything that's inside of this box. Um, this is the jelly cover. And I don't know necessarily that I would use this. It's not that it, anything against covers. It's just, I very much like my um, covers of my bullet journal. We'll put this on the black one real quick. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, but I very much like the covers of my um, bullet journals. Like I love being able to see that rainbow. Like that's why I bought it was to see the rainbow. And then I guess that this bad boy doesn't really make much sense either with your um, elastic closure because this has a snap closure, which I might like that. So let's see what happens here. And okay, so me being me and doing the front page on this, which is like technically the inside of the journal. Well, I guess you can still see it. That's fine, right? That's fine. I wonder how the, how the pocket functions when this is on. We'll have to see. And it looks like you lose your pen holder. I mean, it's fun. I don't know that I necessarily like that it's only on the front with the glitter. I don't, I feel like it should be the whole thing. I don't like how it looks with the elastic. I don't like that I lose my pen holder. I do like the snap closure. So yeah, clear as mud, right? Um, I don't know that I will use this. I do not know. I will keep it and find out at some point and then probably end up giving it to like my cousin's daughter. <laughs> I just, I don't know how I feel about the elastic being all like nilly willy over here. I mean, I guess you could cut the elastic off if you were like for sure down with using the um, cover. I don't like losing the pen holder. Um, I use the pen holder a lot. So like, and that one obviously, I'm not really using it, using it yet. But here is the one that I'm currently in and I always have a pen in the pen holder. So, and this was my December. So, and it's super thick. I feel like I don't, I don't even know. It feels really thick. Um, compared, especially compared to one that I haven't really used much of. So I don't know that I'll use this cover. Sorry, I digress. Um, I don't know that I'll use this cover. It is cute. I, I like the glitter. I think I would like it more if it went all the way around the journal. I think I would like it more if there was in a way to get your um, elastic band, I don't know, removed or something. I think I'd like it better if there was a pen 
older. Um, but it's cute. It's cute. All right, so here is the second journal that's in here. And this is just a standard A5. I know this size because this is the size I use. <laughs> I don't really use the, uh, the bigger or smaller size. I do like that little one though. I don't know that I would use it for a journal. I use, I use a lot of real estate in my bullet journal and I just don't know how that would work for me in a long-term type solution. Like, I don't know how long that little tiny journal would last me. Uh, maybe three months. I don't know. And I'd have to, I'd have to be like, instead of a week in two pages, it would probably have to be like half a week in the whole page. I don't know. It's just tiny. This is beautiful though. I love the iridescent. So I have the, um, the other Archer and Olive, um, pride journal that has that rainbow on the front. I said I'm using that one for my uh, rest of 2021. And this is just so pretty. And of course, the Archer and Olive um, bookmarks at the bottom here. It's so pretty. Gorgeous. So I love the iridescent. I love that on the um, bind. And this is very similar to the ones that I'm going to be using uh, for 2021 because it's just the white version of this is the other one I'm using. So I don't know when I'll use this one, but I will. It's gorgeous. I love the fairy on the front. All right. And then you get this decorative Archer and Olive washi. It is so pretty. Like This just ties into the box so well. Um, I love these colors. Uh, this blue and I'm sorry, not blue, but like this green and purple. I love the rainbows that'll probably be used in my um, new journal because it really matches the front. Love it. And then, um, there are some, I think it's like mind mapping. This is my dream board. There's headers, quotes, and then how to create your own dream board. So it's a dream board, not my mapping, I'm sorry. Um, so different ways that you can do that using, um, you know, pictures, doing um, washi, she has the acrylograph pens. So those are really pretty. And like, honestly, and I saw somebody else say this and I'm stealing their idea. I forget who it was because I've watched so many of these unboxings. She said she was going to cut these out and use them. And I like that idea. So I might do that too. <laughs> and then last but not least are these acrylograph pens. So, um, all this stuff from what I am to understand is specific to the box. Like you're not going to be able to buy these acrylograph pens. You're not going to be able to buy um, this pen case outside of the subscription box. Now I could be wrong on that. So what I have seen, and I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's going to come out to the shop because everybody was going nuts over it. It's in here and it is the silver acrylograph pen. So these are such pretty colors. They really tie into the whole um, box theme. They are the 0.7 size, which is my personal favorite size of acrylograph. I like the big ones to fill stuff in, um, but I feel like it's so hard to get the ink um, flowing right in those. I'm really excited to try these here. Let me move some stuff out of the way and I will try them on my uh, paper that I brought for my inky box. So here, here is the, I just primed it. Here is the uh, silver acrylograph. Yeah, that is pretty much amazing. I love Archer and Olive, but I'm sorry. I do not believe you all. This is coming to the shop. It has to. Everybody is going to want this silver acrylograph pen. You cannot tell me you won't put it out there. You know what they're probably going to do is not have it in this kit and say that this um, 
this like pack will not be available. They have to. You have to, Bonnie. You have to. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to prime these real quick off camera. I'll come back and we'll do the paint pen test with these. And um, so you can see what these ones look like. So they have been primed. Um, you know, I know that she had said at some point that eventually these were going to have color numbers or colors on them, like names. Um, it does not look like they do yet. I know all the ones that I have um, from previous packs do not, uh, which is fine. I don't care. I can look at the cap and there, these caps are actually a very good indicator of what color is inside. So I have primed these all up. I love that. That is such a fun color. And I don't know that you would find that color necessarily um, anywhere else in this kind of pen, like this kind of paint, um, acrylograph, blendable, uh, water soluble pen. I don't know that you'll see that color anywhere else. This purple is really pretty too. And I love that they show up on black it, and they show up on black so well. Um, it's, I love Archer and Olive. Like I would do anything for them. <laughs> this is just like a darker purple, maybe more muted, very similar in color. And then this pretty, like almost Robin's egg blue color. And unfortunately, this mystery box is, it's gone. Um, there, there's so, not mystery box, I'm so sorry. I keep calling it that. This um, subscription box. So the Archer and Olive subscription box uh, went live, I think it was up for a day before it was um, completely sold out. Uh, this is a quarterly subscription box, which is why I was thinking about stopping the um, inky box only because the arch and olive box is going to have apparently the word on the street <laughs> is that the arch and olive subscription box is going to have never um, things that are never going to be offered in the shop so to me the value of that is higher especially when things when you're getting things like these pens um, of these beautiful colors that if you can't get them elsewhere, I want them. That's me. I want them. <laughs> so to me, that was a higher value box. That box I believe was $70. I think it was 75, but I had a, a promo code of some kind. And, um, I think I bought something else so I would get free shipping because I don't like paying for free shipping. I'd rather put that money towards another item. That's just who I am as a person. Um, pretty sure. Uh, but who knows? I ordered a lot of stuff, apparently. Um, plus, I ordered a lot of stickers. Uh, I ordered from Savannah Paper Co. I ordered from Fruity Sticker Company. I ordered, or Fruity Sticker Co. I ordered from uh, Thumbelina. I ordered from, I forget their name. It's Lemon something or other. It's the first time I've ordered from this shop, but... Uh, seems like very um, good communication. She's based in Canada. I'll, I'll link it below. So I ordered quite a few different things over my quarantine. <laughs> and so this is some of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> but um, again, I digress. I'm so sorry. The uh, Archer and Olive uh, subscription box is quarterly. Uh, you'll get these never, never offered again items. Apparently I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe they're not going to offer that silver pen. How can they not? That is the best pen. That is the best acrylograph pen that there is. And to not let the general people who didn't get the box, uh, you know, get that pen, that would be very sad. So I hope that maybe they have like a metallic kit coming out or pack coming out that includes that. Maybe when they say it's never going to be offered, maybe just like in this, packaging like this 
these five pens together will never be offered together uh, like that again. So I'm really excited with everything I got. I really, really, really love, I think, all right, favorite, favorite piece, takeaway piece, I think is going to be this guy. So cute, so little. I know it's got a plain cover, but sometimes I'm, I'm about that. And I love how cute it is. And it's just, it's, I think it's only 112 pages. I threw away the, the cover thing, I think. Is this it? No, that's for the other one. I think it's only 112 pages, um, which is fine. I love that it's a small little, um, little guy. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but this is like the perfect size of like, if you need something for like work or, um, you know, maybe just like an ideas journal, like when you like are thinking and you come up with an idea and maybe I'm sitting there thinking and I'm thinking about what I can do um, and some cards that I wanna make and I could sketch it out. And I just, I love this. I love this one. Uh, so, that is everything. I'm sorry about my prolonged absence. I am hoping to um, get it together and get back um, to posting videos. Again, you know, with the new job, I still think that probably one journaling video, um, one craft video a month going forward is probably going to be likely and maybe an unboxing if I decide to keep the inky box. Man, she made it hard. Like I was like last time when I opened the November box, not that I didn't like the November box, but when I opened it, I was like, you know what? Um, I think I can just stop getting these now because I have a lot of pens. I have a lot of art supplies. While they were art supplies I hadn't I had previously, like this paint I didn't have previously, I was just like, you know, I don't really use paint as much. Um, it's all very pretty things, but I think I can, I can hold off. And then she comes out and she's like, bam, Erica, didn't you know about these, uh, Zig clean color real brushes? Didn't you know about this editing brush pen? Didn't you know about this gold Posca pen? Uh, I know you don't have any, that many of these Pentel brush pens. You only have that purple and blue one I sent you before. And, and here's some, some good old standbys. And <laughs> I'm like, okay take my money. So, um, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know this is going to be end up, end up being a long video because I opened five mystery boxes. Just kidding. It was only three and then a box I already opened, but, uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to get back and, uh, start talking to you guys more. So have a good one. Bye.